Apparently, only men can be guilty of stalking. Bingo, bango, sugar in a gas tank. Your ex-husband strikes again. I can't go within a thousand feet of her. Right, or call her, but you've been leaving messages on her machine. Before the restraining order. It's a crime to want another chance? She's not giving you another chance. And this is a list of the messages you left on her answer phone five times in one afternoon. She wouldn't answer, and I was worried. And since January, you've been watching her home, stalking her in the no, street. No, Karen, I, I wasn't stalking. I just wanted to see Lola. But despite what we're repeatedly told, it's not true that only men stalk, or that they do the most stalking, or even that stalking is a significant problem in society. It's about protecting yourself, and it's about telling the police. That's what it's about. And unfortunately, it's men who do more stalking than they women. They do. I was stalked by a woman. Wait, Were hmm. you? Then I found out anywhere I bought clothes, she bought clothes. And uh, she then eventually ended up with my doctor, my dentist. So how did you stop that? I didn't. And? I left the country, lost touch with her. A 2007 Home Office report shows that 7% of men claim to suffer some form of stalking, almost as likely as women, at 8%. Claims of stalking, even if minor and even if unproven, are lumped into the category of domestic violence, as if unwanted phone calls are the same as physical violence. The police do this because it inflates crime levels, which leads to an increase in the fear of crime, which of course, in turn, leads directly to increased police funding. In films and on television, domestic violence is a frequent storyline, with men the only guilty party. Here's Johnny! You don't think I got this for now, do you? He's his father, Eugene. He impregnated you, Arlene. In what other way has he been a father to Trevor? Unless knocking somebody around is a new family value. What are you talking about? He never touched Trevor. Oh, that's right. Only you. He only took it out on you. I'll go somewhere else. I don't like when he gets like this. I don't mean when he gets like this. What does he do? But Hank is a whole different animal. It looks like he's turning wife beating into an Olympic sport. How's that wrist? What, this? No, that shelf in the kitchen sticks out sometimes. Think I'd remember it was there, but I banged it. Don't. I made my bed, Catherine. You know, this guy here, for instance, Sikorsky, Sikorsky, whatever, beats on his wife. Ew. Hey, shut up. Hey, it's so Leave her alone! Stay down, Kim! I will hurt you! Shut up, Megan! I think her father's abusing her and he wants to take her home. Welcome to the fucking neighborhood. Must have gotten pretty loud. Yeah, well, we had a fight. People fight, you know? Why don't you tell me? I'm like... No. Shit! Please do me a favor and don't make it worse. Oh, well, does it get worse? Connie Tepos. Her boyfriend almost killed her last year when she tried to leave. He broke three of her ribs last month. She's scared to death to press charges, and we can't do anything. He says you've been staring at him from the window all day. <laughs> Don't worry, my one. I give you my word. My wife and son will be dead by the end of this day. Meets a guy, decides she loves him. Good looking kid, driven. Smart. When she said they were engaged, I told her I was against it, but being my daughter, naturally, she went ahead and married him anyway. First time he hit her, she came to me. Where violent women are portrayed at all, it will often be trivialized. And if I should get out my baseball bat and start swinging it from side to side, don't you be alarmed. <laughs> Jeez, you and my wife with the baseball bat. <laughs> you are a stupid cab driver, like your father was a stupid cab driver. Come with me, schmuck. Now. I have a cut. How'd you get it? Threw a remote at him, okay? It's no big secret. I threw it at him because all he can do is watch television or fall asleep like a dead person. Honey. Don't honey me. I'm divorcing you. As soon as you stop bleeding from your head, we're going to a lawyer. Men are automatically the bad guys. You Detective Shaft? Used to be. 
I need to file me an assault charge against my boyfriend. People say I should talk to you. Write the asshole's name where I can find him. If men are hit, they deserve it. That oh. is for giving me a really horrible, miserable day. And this, that is for calling me Thing and It. And if you upset Lionel by shouting, I will kneecap the pair of you. It says with pulp. You like it with pulp? Not this much. I like the one that says some pulp. The fuck was that for? I'll write you up a list. I thought you thought I was different. I thought... <gasps> I didn't have to help you. Calm down! But don't you understand, woman? I forgot. <laughs> I mean it. I mean it. Is she here? Yeah. I'll get her. Grace, the lion cheating sack of shit is here. Give me another chance. That's for making me care about you. A blind man can deserve a slap. I have to talk to the doctor, so you gotta get rid of it. In 24, even the President of the United States can deserve a good slap. Don't you ever do that to me again. Apparently, a slap can be exactly what a man needs for his self-esteem. This is one of my favourite examples. A man is tortured. Your time is up! Then, during his recovery, his girlfriend thinks that a slap is what he needs to make him feel better. Morris, I know you've been through a lot today, but you're really starting to piss me off. Well, let's add that to my list of failings. Why did you do that? I didn't want to. And if that doesn't work, maybe another slap will do it. If you're going to try and save a block, save someone who's worth it. Stop it, stop it. So why don't you stop feeling sorry for yourself and get back to work? And it works. I'll put Morris on it. Even poisoning is presented as okay for a woman to do if she feels justified. It's comedy. Make him something special that he won't forget ever. Here, make him that. Oh my God, but this is... Oh, it's not lethal, no. That small dose. It will, however, make him as sick as the dog he is. Just think of it as homeopathic aversion therapy. You were caught in a jungle voodoo orgy with a cast of Deep Space Nine? No! Well, yes. Samuel, serve the poison. Must I? Yes. Men are expected to just take it, as if a woman has every right to hit them. Women are initiating violence, and if a man responds in kind, he's in the wrong. With incidents of violence perpetrated by women on television, we're shown that the women must have had a good reason. I'm sorry, but you don't. I do. You don't. I do. You don't. <laughs> don't you back talk me. Look at this. She burned me. That's not good. What led up to that? Indeed, something undoubtedly did lead up to that. And what leads up to a woman being slapped by a man? Why is it that when a man is hit, the first thought in many people's minds is, well, what did you do? His grandmother hit me. <laughs> what did you do? Nothing. She just hit me. But when a woman is hit, the first thought is, well, what an evil bastard. We need to be asking ourselves a lot more, what are these women doing that leads to this unnatural reaction from men? It wasn't a miscarriage. It was an abortion. An abortion, Michael. It was a son, a son, and I had it killed because this must all end. You got it. Oh. Domestic violence is often presented as being close to the surface in relationships. Well, it was lovely at first. A bit precious, maybe. Possessive. Could be. Temperamental. Violent. I prefer passionate. Did he ever hit you? No. Did he ever come close? 
the psychiatrist said that I should leave my husband. But may God forgive me when he said that, it seemed so right. You made a sacred vow. Divorce is out of the question. Unless he's your abusive, your husband. Not to me, but he is unfaithful. But the truth is that domestic violence is so rare in married couples, it doesn't make sense to mention it as a likely reason for divorce. The minister may as well say, stay with your husband unless he's an international jewel thief. Stay with him unless he's a double agent for the KGB. Jesus Christ. Don't get all excited. Most of it's from the accident. Adriana. It's a syndrome protecting abusers. If it would have been Christopher alone in a car with a woman, I would have killed him. This is probably much closer to what domestic violence is frequently about. The crucial thing here is not what he may have done to her, but what she would have done to him under the same circumstances. Stop! I explain! You said you love me! I do! Oh, I hope you die! The violence is not perpetrated one way. It's reciprocal and it's consensual. The consequences of our hypersensitivity to domestic violence are obvious, with men on the defensive. God help you if your wife or girlfriend injures herself. Nasty bruise on Carrie's face. Yeah. <laughs> Poor thing. Cupboard door. Yep. There's a lot of cupboard doors out there. A lot of cupboard doors hitting a lot of women in the face. Whoa, no, hang on a minute. Are you suggesting that I hit Carrie? That's a terrible thing to say. How dare you? There's a refuge down the road full of women like Carrie. Even when mothers kill their babies, they can be considered innocent if domestic violence is involved. She's responsible for the death of a child. I can't just ignore it. She was a battered woman, Ken. It's not going to happen again. She's a good mother. And armed robbery committed by a woman can be pinned on a man with the all-pervading reach of domestic violence. She's afraid of another beating, so he scares her into committing robberies to put food on the table. She wanted to start a new life. Said if she got four or five thousand dollars, it might get her away from Hank. Why five thousand? Half for her and the rest for his rent. She didn't want him to get tossed out on the street. Angie has a good heart. 